Good morning, and thank you for waking up with Edie Darling. I truly count it a joy and a blessing to come before you speaking life into your life. Well, this morning I want to briefly discuss chapters because each of us have different chapters in life. When we're growing up through the years, we have chapters where whether it's we're working on something in our lives and then God has a way of closing each chapter and we're going to different levels. But what happens when you are an adult and you have that sense that God is getting ready to close a chapter? We can either do one of two things. We can go with it and allow God to close the door and we move to that next level. Or we can do this. We can fight to stay in the same chapter because we don't feel like we're ready to go to the next level. So I want to use this analogy for a moment of that mama hawk. Um, the mom knows that or the eagle or whichever bird it is you know what bird it is but that mama bird who knows that this baby is get is ready to take flight but the baby is like mm, I don't know I don't know so mom does what mothers do we kick you out <laughs> so either you fall down and it's okay to fall down sometimes or you take flight but either way, we have to learn to be able to be courageous enough to do it. So what God does, he gently nudges us to say, okay, you, you're ready for this. I've been training you, I've been equipping you, but it's time to step out and do it. So in that fighting, sometimes we do what we as humans do. We hold on to the familiarities. We don't want to step out in faith. So we hold on to that rope, kicking and screaming all the way down. But if we just trust the process, if we would just trust to believe that God is not going to allow us to hit so rock bottom that he'll never pick us up because he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I will be your strength. He said, I, I will be your fortress. He will be our protector. So even in those times that we find ourselves in a valley, God is never away from us in the valley. So it's up to us to just say, God, I trust you in the process. I'm ready to go to the next level. I'm ready to close the door on this chapter and I'm ready to walk into the new. And it's in that moment that we trust and believe that we see that there is something more beautiful on the other side of the horizon that we would never have have looked at if we hadn't just taken our eyes off of the past and fix our eyes on the present. I hope this message encourages you today to say that it's okay to close a chapter, whatever that chapter is, and have faith to believe that God is leading me to the next chapter of greatness, one that's filled with love, one that's filled with peace, and one that is filled with possibilities. I wish you much joy, peace, and blessings, my friends. Peace and blessings.